Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem very quickly. We have square root of x plus square root of negative x equal 2. Now the question is, do you think this will give us a real solution? Now let's solve it and see the outcome. The first thing I want to do is taking this to the other side, right? So I have negative square root of negative x to be equal to 2 minus square root of x, right? And then from here, what I will do again is to square both sides. So if I square this, I am also going to square this. And then this cancels this so that negative x will be equal to 2 minus square root of x in two places, 2 minus square root of x. Okay, so that's from here, we have negative x to be equal to 2 times 2 is 4, then 2 times minus root x will give us minus 2 root x, then root minus root x times 2 will give us another minus 2 root x, then plus x because minus root x squared will give us x that's plus x okay okay so let's continue from here so we get minus x equal to 4 minus 4 root x plus x right and from here what do we observe you will see that um Okay, we need to collect like terms because we have this and this over there. So, I'll have minus x. This comes out to become minus x again, right? And then this will be equal to 4 minus 4 root x. Minus 2x is equal to 4 minus 4 root x. Okay, what I want to do now is making minus 4 root x a subject. So we have minus 2x minus 4 equal to minus 4 root x. Now what do I do? Let me turn it around so that it will be easier for us. Minus 4 root x will now be equal to minus 2x minus 4, right? And then what do we do from here? What we can do now is um, dividing both sides by minus 4. So I'll divide it by minus 4 and divide the whole of this by minus 4. Now what do you observe? This will go with this, meaning that root x is equal to... By the way, I can still split this. So I have minus 2x over minus 4, then minus 4 over... Okay, then we have minus 4 again. Let me have this in brackets so that it will not affect our work. Now, this is what we are having. Now, root x here is equal to, hope you know that this and this can always cancel each other, right? Okay, and if they do, then we'll have 2x two, two over 4, 2x over 4, and this and this can always cancel, so that we'll have positive. And then 4 over 4 will give us um, 1. Meaning that root x is equal to here. Now 2 can go here 2 times, right? So that means we have x over 2 plus 1. Now what do I do from here again? Since we are looking for the value of x, we need to square this again. Square both sides. Square both sides. Now this goes with this and x will be equal to here. This will be x over 2 plus 1 into x over 2 plus 1. I hope you can understand this. Now x here will be equal to this multiplied by this will give us x squared over 4. Then plus this times this will give us x over 2. Then plus this times this will still give us x over 2. Then plus 1 times 1 is 1. Now what do we do from here? 
Let's continue. Let's add the middle terms here. Or let's even find the LCM of everything. And that's going to be 4, right? So multiply 4 by all of this. So that we will have 4x to be equal to 4 will cancel itself from here. We have x squared plus 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then times x, we have 2x. Plus here again, we'll have the same 2x. Then plus 4 times 1, which is 4. Meaning that 4x is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4. If you want to arrange this better, then we have x squared, right? Then this one here becomes, um, okay, we have plus 4x, right? Then if this comes to the other side, it becomes minus 4x. Then we have plus 4, which will be equal to 0. And then x squared, these two will go so that we have x plus 4 to be equal to 0, right? And then what do we do further? This means that x squared is equal to um, minus 4 taking 4 to the other side. And now what do we observe from here? This means that um, we can now take the square root of both sides, plus or minus square root of negative 4. Right? This and this will be gone, and x will be equal to plus or minus square root of 4 multiplied by square root of negative 1. And now what do I do? So that from here, our x will now be plus or minus square root of 2, um, 4 here is 2, right? And square root of negative 1 is i. So this means that x is equal to 2i or negative 2i. And then if you bring this together, we have x1 to be equal to 2i and then x2 to be equal to negative 2i. Now this is to confirm that there is no real solution for the problem. Okay? And this is the end of the, the solving. Thank you for watching. God bless.